SAT math question of the day. Which expression is equivalent to 5x to the 5th minus 6x to the 4th plus 8x cubed? So here we need to figure out what we can factor out of all three of these terms so that we can simplify the equation further. And then once we do that, we'll take a look at our answers to see what matches our final answer. So let's do a rewrite of what we have down here. We have 5x to the 5th minus 6x to the 4th plus 8x to the third. So what we can pull out of each of these terms is going to be x to the third. So that's going to go on the outside of the brackets. Then in the brackets, we're going to write what is left. So if we take x to the third out of this term, we're still going to have the 5. So we're going to write that. And then we're still going to have x squared. And the way that we get this is we look at this exponent, which is five here, that we're gonna subtract out the three that we're taking out, and that leaves us with the two there. Now let's look at our middle term. We have minus, we're still going to have the six here, and then we have x to the fourth, and then we're gonna take out the three, so four minus three gives us one, so we're just going to have x. And when it's x to the first, we don't need to write the one there, so we just have minus six x, and then finally, our last term is 8x cubed. So when we take out this full x cubed, we're just going to be left with plus 8. So here we have x cubed times in parentheses 5x squared minus 6x plus 8. So that matches answer choice B.